You got a Trump hat on. You got the red, white, and blue. And you got a Trump sign. So your guy's not here. Uh, what are you doing here? Well, he's not here, and I'm glad he's not here because he doesn't want any of those other hats. And, you know, we need to get asking for Republicans to support the right to contraception, do you remember? Why would you not support contraception? I, I don't understand. Why would you not? You know, we're killing these little babies. And it's disgusting. It's demonic. You know, contraception will prevent that. Yeah. Why do you think Republicans in a number of states, state legislatures, and Congress have voted against bills that protect the right to contraception? Do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah. All you have to do is follow the money. Paying for the non, don't support contraception right side. Who do you think's chipping in on that? Maybe Planned Parenthood. Well, they seem to want contraception. They hand it out. They deliver it. They push it. Would you like to hear? I mean, whoever becomes a Republican candidate. Here, so if it's, if it's Donald Trump or one of the people on the stage or someone else, would you want them to say publicly that they support the right to contraception in America? Thanks. Anything else we should ask you that we missed? 2024, baby. And where do you get that outfit, honestly? I mean, where uh, it well, I have a whole uh, closet full of friendly people. Um, I want my country back. I, I hate it. The way it is right now, it's all about life. When did you like it? When did when did America feel good? I really liked it when Trump was on. He had 48 good months. He had 48 good months and he really showed us different things. He showed us what they could do to us for all these years. Oh, yeah. Ah. Like this, and it's like, okay, for us for all these years. He sort of woke us up and I really respect that. I don't respect any party. I'm not, I'm not any party. I, I'm 57, so I can't do the quick math. I think I've had 600 and some months. I think more than 48 months were good. Do you feel like America was only good for those 48 months? I think it was good back at the time we thought it was good, but didn't know what was happening. I think what we thought it was good. But you know, we keep us busy. We keep us busy. We keep mom out doing three jobs. Everything's a distraction. And you're trying to put it on the table. You don't really get able to see what's going on. And when you slow down, like other countries do, have vacations, focus on God and family first, and stop taking God out of everything. Yeah. Do you feel like that? I'm a Christian pastor, so I wonder what your thoughts are. Do you feel like we have less God in America? Um, in certain ways, but in certain ways, people are taking down to Chinatown and they're just like taking out the world Are you afraid that some of these people will call you woke if you're looking for a great awakening? I am not afraid. 
just want a great awakening. Spiritual Honey, thank you for talking to us. And I literally think there's a condom sitting on the ground right over there. I don't know if that's a prop that somebody <laughs> put, but I'm not kidding you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bonnie, thanks oh, yeah, for take care. thanks for your good spirit. Yeah, thanks no for problem. talking with us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, well, we're going to cut a bunch of ads out of it and other stuff like that, so it'll be a bunch of things. I run a group called Vote Common Good, and I also with a group called Contraception, Americans for Contraception. Yeah. Right on. All the best. Can, can I ask you a question? Yeah, of course. Uh, in what ways are is the right to contraception under attack? Yeah. So is this not is this not a video anymore? Yeah. Hey, we're gonna keep videoing, uh, Dan. We're gonna keep going on this conversation. So, it, so in in what ways is contrace the right to contraception yeah. under attack? It feels a little weird, right? Some guys out here with a sign that says "right to contraception." All right. This. Here's what happened during the Dobbs decision. Right. Which overturned Roe versus Wade. Mm -hmm. We were promised coat hangers, by the way. A year a, re a year without Roe v. Wade, back alley coat hangers. I mean. Zero incidences of back alley coat hangers. I'm curious. I see. Yeah, it's very curious, right? right, right. So it sounds like you guys are lying, right? You guys no, are I lying. I think what's happened is people yeah. are in other states. But okay. here's where this came from. Justice Thomas wrote a concurring opinion. Uh -huh. to the, you know, he supported it, but he also said, and by the way, we've overturned Roe versus Wade because we don't think the right to privacy was the right argument for Roe versus Wade. That was the legal argument. And then he said, and other cases were also uh, based on right to privacy, and he named specifically the right to contraception. Okay. So, a bunch of states, Utah, North Carolina, Virginia, Wisconsin, state legislators said, hey, we think there could be a case before the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court's going to do the same to contraception, no national right. A state's right. So they're going to ban contraception. They're going to ban condoms. They're they're going. So here's what happens. They're going to the Supreme Court is going to this is the, the concern. They're going to ban the pullout method. It's going to ban one. contraception. No, that, that one's okay. The pullout method is still okay. Um, so the the argument is states then need. So states start to prepare for this in case this happens, right? right. So they put bills forward. Utah, North Carolina, and federal legislation. In every one of those states. And in Congress, every Republican voted against the right to contraception. Which is not, I mean, you still haven't demonstrated how the right to contraception well, is not really under attack well, in any what, way. Because when someone says, I don't want to protect the right to contraception, okay. what's the alternative? That you, have to go to right. you have to go to Walgreens and use your own money to buy a pack of condoms no, for seven bucks. No, no, bucks. no, this is not about public funding for contraception. It literally... I think it's about entitlements to, like, elective no, no, uh, no, no, contraception. No, I think that's that's more or less what you guys are kvetching about. Well, it's not. Are you uh, sure? Yeah, totally positive. I mean, if that was it, it'd be fine, because nobody, no government pays for contraception. It wouldn't be a concern. The concern Private is... Private entities do, it's fine. Yeah, but that, before you know? 1968... Some states, I think including Wisconsin, you did not have the right to purchase contraception. It was contraband and illegal. The reason that there was a federal lawsuit and therefore the Supreme Court ruled on it is because we needed to have the same laws everywhere in the country based on the right to privacy. When Thomas said that's something we should really look at, states then went to pass state laws and Republicans voted against it. I think so just for the most is, part is that, I, that conservatives probably want you to pay for your own stuff. It's not about who it pays for it. It's about is it actually illegal to get. So like you think you think that they're going to illegalize contraception? Did you think they would make illegal abortion, or do you think they were just going to remove public funding? Again, we were promised coat hangers, and it's been no Roe v. No, Wade and nothing. They were zero over, coat hangers. Did you think they were going to overturn? Zero coat hangers. hangers. We were promised coat hangers. Okay, thank you. I appreciate yeah. your conversation. Thanks, God, they're faggots.